I'm Anya Mueller and I graduated from Black Hills State in 2002. So I'm BHSU alumni and I work now for a local media station. And I love animals! Yay! Justice Sin Carey here. I'm a major at mass communications, emphasis on telecommunications. Hi, I'm Sarah Jackson and I have been training dogs since I was 11, so for about 13 years. Uh, Rocky and I were very excited when that law passed because we have been working on that for years now. We, I've gone to peer every year with the other animal advocates and it's, it's such a huge deal for animal advocates and animal lovers and animals alike because it means we have better laws here in South Dakota to protect our animals. Because, I mean, let's face it, if you're an animal lover, these animals are part of your life, they're part of your family, they're your heart and your soul. And if anything would happen to them, um, if somebody would basically come in and, you know, beat Rocky to death, they would just get a fine. I think that's good. I don't think you should uh, dis discriminate against a dog based on its breed. I mean... Um, it, breed discrimination has not affected me personally, um, but I, I can see where that would really bother somebody. Because um, if somebody were to come up to me and say, hey, you know, you can't have a corgi because they, they heard everything. And that's crazy. You know, I, I would feel like that you're kind of taking away a part of my right as a citizen, you know, to, to have what I want for a dog. And I, I feel like dogs are like kids, you know, they're going to they're gonna act how you raise them. And if you raise them, you know, improperly, yeah, they're going to they're gonna be a naughty animal. But if you raise them the right way and you raise them properly, they're going to... They're gonna grow up to be nice pets in society. Just because one dog might be angry doesn't mean they're all, they all are. Happy is a Boston Terrier. She was bred to fight. Um, I could own some babies as a corgi, but that, that's my breed. I think everybody has a breed that they love the most. Um, I'm not particular though. I think all dogs are great. I go down to the Humane Society and walk dogs, and I, I pick every kind of dog because they all, they all deserve the best. I don't think that they should ever be euthanized because the shelter is too full, but unfortunately they in a lot of cases fall victim to space and volunteers and not having enough foster homes or supplies to take care of the animals, but it's unfortunate that that happens, but I don't think that that should ever be a reason to put down or euthanize a animal that could provide a wonderful pet to a family. Oh, I would love that in South Dakota if we had no kill shelters. Um, just being a, a volunteer at the Humane Society, you go in and you walk these dogs, and even in just that 15 minutes, you feel a bond with that dog. And, and it just breaks your heart, you know, you, you have to put him back in their cell and to think, he could die tomorrow, and for what? You know, I mean, it, they're all such wonderful pets in there, and, and, and they can make wonderful pets for families someday. And, and it's just, it's really sad, I mean, it's just too bad it has to be that way, and it would be fabulous if we could go no kill. You can just say, I will you, I will you, I will you, I will you. Smile.